Read the instructions. It's a shotgun. Yeah. I don't want you messing up, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I I'm the trigger man? I've got the motive. Name for the face. I want a closed casket. I just fear this might get out of hand. He's got to pay. I mean, why? When you and Megan were broken up, you dated like 15 girls. She only dated this one guy. What's that supposed to mean, man? You think he meant something to her? No, I just, I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do, like, morally. Listen, man, be plenty of time to revisit this conversation in prison. Let's go. Party on a Tuesday night. His neighbors are totally gonna thank us. I've never even seen a picture of this guy, Tim. Don't say his name. How am I gonna know to shoot? Oh, just shoot the biggest cocksucker. Look, maybe you should have planned this out more. There's no shame in downgrading this to a practice. There's no such thing as a perfect murder, man. It's go time. It sure does sound like there are a lot of witnesses. Take them out. Dude. Listen, this is what creative people do, okay? We gather life experiences of all types. Fucking Charles Dickens, before he wrote Oliver Twist, raped and murdered three women. I don't think that's entirely true. Are we in fucking English class right now? Last time I checked, we weren't. Last time I checked, we were about to helter-skelter some fucking biggies. I'm just still a little skeptical. Listen, just get a glimpse of this cocksucker. I guarantee it'll put you in a murderous rage. Let's go. He has more friends than we do. Maybe we should do some reconnaissance. Reconnaissance? Fucking excuse me for trying to class up this shotgun killing. the operation. She seems into it, man. No. Oh. Fuck! Pablo! Is there any unexplained blood on your hands? I don't know. This thing is all mine. Fuck. I was gonna return that when we were done. So I recycled it, I guess. You guys are still here? Hey! What's up? How's it going, man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I got some friends coming over for a, a, a work barbecue thing. Oh, great spot for some grilling, actually. Yeah, man, you need us to pick up some beers or some buns? Like... No, no, but thank you. I had a great time last night. Dude, best party I've been to this year, man. That was that was epic. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, why don't you give me your number, and then I can uh, I can give you a call sometime. I, mean, I parties like this all the time. Cool, man. Dude, I'm down. All right. Awesome, bro. Cool. That'd be great. Ringy ding. Sweet. So I, I'll I'll check you later. Cool. Great. Great. Cool. You have a great property, man. You have a lovely home. Thanks a lot. A lot of green space. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye, guys. Take it later, man. That was Tim, wasn't it? That was a fucking dead man. That's who the fuck that was. I feel like we spend 99% of our lives poised on the brink of greatness. Yeah, man. Gotta get that 1% back. Oh, hang 10, brah. 
Uh, yeah, man. Uh, about that, um, I got that dorm father position after all. Just talked to the headmaster and they're gonna pay me to live for free, so. So you're moving out after a day? Yeah. Good luck. Fucking piece of shit. I hate looking for new roommates, man. It's like announcing to the world that you're stuck in a pathetic rut and then inviting a crazy stranger to come in and make it worse. Why don't you just move in finally, man? I think it'd really focus you. To this place? If you had some cooler stuff around here, I would definitely consider it, you know? Miss Pac-Man machine, sit down, tabletop. Cocktail? That's $3,500 on eBay, man. I checked it out. No go. Where is this stuff? It's in United 93, remember? So we'd never forget. We're losing the drug war, man. We should just become drug dealers. We could sell to ourselves. Our revenue will pay for the spare bedroom. Feels good to finally have some direction. <sighs> yeah. We just can't sell near schools while we can't sell in schools. Deal. Drug deal. All right, we're gonna be late enough as it is. Kathy's gonna be so pissed. Well, Kathy already hates me, so I don't care. Pick one. I mean, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Every couple has a celebrity fuck list, babe. I don't think that's true. Well, it is. And last time I was in Kathy's neighborhood, I saw a fucking Kirsten Dunst on the sidewalk, just walking by Kirsten Dunst. What am I supposed to do? Pick one. Uh, I don't know, um, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? Mm -hmm. Why, because he's fucking more muscular than me? I get it, pretty shallow choice, but whatever. I don't even like Brad Pitt. I was just throwing a name out there. Pick somebody that you do like. Oh, I don't know. Uh, who do I like? Marlon Brando, remember? On the waterfront, you agree that he was a hottie. Yeah, but Marlon Brando's dead. Well, pick him circa 1954. Okay, Marlon Brando, 1954. Cool, so if you see Marlon Brando, you know, on the street, Feel free to fuck him. I will not get jealous, I promise. So now it's my turn. I pick Christy Murphy. Who the hell's Christy Murphy? She's an actress. She mostly does like background work right now. She just moved into the building. I think you'd really like her. I think you guys would get along. Put on your pants. We're not gonna have sex? Fine, well, you know, don't blame me if I get a couple rogue boners at this dinner party. And that's how I got into improv. Or at least that's the short version anyway. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Kathy. Oh, you're Someone pass the salt, please? It causes hypertension. Is that a yes or a no? Because I just want some salt. You know, you really shouldn't eat salt. And uh, from what I can remember, the food didn't need any. Cool, so can we clear up this whole salt thing? Because I was just interested in getting some salt. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks, K Dog. <clears throat> oh, no. Bon appetit. Your move. What does that even mean? <laughs> That's your move? Jesus Christ, must you be such a child? Well, you know, it is true what they say. 29 is the new nine. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 30, Dickie. So, how's your brother? You know, James is still taking Dad's death pretty hard. I, I think it's making him act out. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mom wants him to go into rehab. For what? I mean, like, just alcohol? Just alcohol? Yeah, I mean, is he into anything more fun, or...? I wouldn't exactly call it fun. It's tearing our family apart. James is killing himself. How quickly? And now he's in trouble with the cops. 
That's terrible. That is terrible. But like how terrible exactly? Like felony, misdemeanor, possession with intent? 